Yo, what's up everybody, how's it going? Today we're playing some Dota 1x6, which is of course made by Xeno. And we're playing the Alchemist E build, because the monkey brain likes it when the numbers go up. And I thought that would be a bit of fun to just kind of make a lot of money and see if we can pull it off. Now, bit of a warning here, Alchemist E build always struggles early. So if it seems like I'm doing very poorly, that's kind of part of the experience with that build. But the goal with Alchemist E is to make it past the early game. Not to do well during it, just to make it past it. So yeah, anyway. Setting that aside, supposedly there's a big Dota patch coming soon. I heard people say that it's coming this week. I don't believe they have any evidence for that, but I've heard people say it. And I don't know what that means for the arcade. Because usually when a big Dota patch comes, modes like Dota 1x6 or lots of games in the arcade just kind of break. In particular because this new patch is rumored to be especially big. So... I thought we can just go ahead and, and, and play some 1x6. And I'm going to record a bunch of 1x6 today. So if you see a bunch of videos that were all recorded today, then that's why. Because I thought, you know what, let's just make sure we have that covered. And then I don't have to worry about uh, waiting for Xeno to fix the game mode. Anyway, let's get into the game. Okay, we're playing Alchemist. I'll grab some Boots of Speed and this. We'll probably want a Clarity. And then we'll uh, grab ourselves the Acid Spray. And something cool we can do with Alchemist, because Acid Spray has such a long duration, we can kind of use it a bit early. And uh, it, you know, it's gonna tick and tick and tick. We don't need that many ticks against these creeps. They die pretty quickly, right? And then we just take him down. And that's that. Pick this up and, oh, never mind. I guess we don't need mana. <laughs> that's perfect. That's very, very good. Alright, we'll grab ourselves some face boots. And then I think I'm just gonna go for Battle Fury. Um, so we can kind of maximize our farm. I mean, we're playing Alchemist after all, right? It is Alchemist City. Alchemy, my friends. That's what we're here for. That's what we're about. Alright, we'll take this. I'm gonna run over here. Get myself this little stack. Thank you. Should be in time. And then we can tackle these creeps. And... All good. Hello, what's up? The news just got released. The news just got released. Well, I'm trying to record something on the news important. A hundred kilo bomb was found. A hundred kilo bomb was found at your school. And like, from World War Two. Well, I'm glad that they found that. <laughs> also, they were just doing a construction. They were just working construction, and they found a hundred kilo bomb from World War Two. Well, aren't we glad that that didn't explode? That's very good. Yep. Okay. okay bye. Goodbye. Alright, pick up this. I was just gonna use the acid spray here to get this done a bit quicker. This creep wave otherwise takes a bit long. Um, I don't really need more mana per second, to be honest. I think we've got plenty. <clears throat> Grab this. Yeah, Mickey's school ended early today uh, because they found a bomb, apparently. So that's fun. Uh, just <laughs> glad nothing went wrong there. <laughs> Ooh, this is bad. Uh, I guess I'll get this. An additional 200 magic damage is actually quite a lot. Right? That is something that definitely hurts a good chunk. Uh, let's come in here. Throw in this. This is just to chip away at this camp. We're not gonna need it for this creep camp that we're dealing with right now. And we're not gonna be able to kill this camp right now. So, I just kind of want to use it and start chipping. I think that's probably a good way of going about it. Because right now we have it ready anyway, you see? Like, it's, it's fine. And then we just acid spray these guys down. Don't want to do too much damage. Good! Epic! For each bounty rune, bounty rune you pick up, your attack speed permanently increases by 2. And this effect stacks 35 times, after which your attack damage increases by 50. Very cool! Very cool! So with this, we have uh, a bunch of extra late game potential and also we get value out of bounty runes that we pick up. I mean, we already get value out of bounty runes that we pick up because money. <laughs> but now we get some bonus value, which is not too bad. Like, we're pretty happy about that. Throw in an acid spray. That's just about chipping away at these guys, right? It's just about uh, taking them all down. Pick this up. And I'm going to say hello over here really quick. 
Yeah. Fly. There we go. Come here. Acid spray. I hope this... Oh, no. Okay, so we were found. This is bad. Ah, this is really annoying. Okay. Now nah, we gotta go back now. Ugh. Ah! No, I should not have. I should not have challenged that at all. That was actually a mistake. Because now I'm gonna have a hard time last hitting this. Because these guys are gonna get so big. I mean, I'm not gonna have a hard time in the way that it's gonna be difficult. I'm gonna have a hard time in the way that it's gonna take a long time. But I guess we're fine. Alright, well, we got all of them. Good, good, good. Let's get ourselves some status resistance. Here's our chemical rage. Throwing this, we have nearly chipped this down all the way. We have nearly finished it. Ooh, that's bad. I will get extra attack range though. 50 extra attack range on a melee hero is actually quite a lot. And it's definitely something we appreciate. Okay, this is bad news. I'm guessing that she didn't take this though. If she rushed over here, yeah. So we should be able to pick this up. And then let's have a look at the one in the center as well, just to be on the safe side. Because that can also just often go, there we go, it often goes untouched. Because it's just like a little out of the way, right? Like it's just a little out of the way. Hey, Anime Addict 101, thank you for the 19 months. Why am I not jump roping? Because I'm not allowed to. And I saw a few people confused. Why am I not allowed to jump rope if I have a broken finger? Because I'm not to, allowed to do any exercise that involves my hands. So, jump roping does involve you using the jump rope, right? I imagine that uses your hands, right? So, <laughs> anyway. When you earn 4,500 unspent gold, I can gain a recipe for an overpowered item. <clears throat> and then I can do it again afterwards when I earn 6,000 unspent gold. We are not gonna go for this for a while. Right now, our priority is to finish up our battle fury and to just kind of farm up casually, chilling, taking it easy. You know what I mean? Ooh, see, this is exactly the problem. Hello, thanks for this. I'll take it. Uh, so we definitely don't want to pick up our... We definitely don't want to pick up our bounty rune over to the left side here. Because there is a Lushrak who is being a nightmare. Uh, luckily, I was smart and I went for face boots so I can run away from stuff. Yes, this is going to be the problem. People are going to chase us down. And this is why I thought playing this build would be fun. I haven't set it up to this point while I'm streaming. I know, so this may have been weird. Usually I introduce the build. But uh, we are playing the e-build today. And uh, I didn't say that because I wanted people to be just a tad little bit unsure what I'm doing. Uh, because if they know what I'm doing, they're going to play really aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, just kind of wanted to make sure we have some more, uh, a bit of a surprise factor at the very least. Like, it didn't have, it doesn't have to be a massive surprise factor, but I wanted it to at least exist. So we're going to focus on farming. And that's really why I wanted to do this today. There's something very satisfying about watching the gold go up and getting the sound effect. So I'm going to focus entirely on farming and I'm going to build super farming centered. Like I'm actually just going to focus all of our attention on getting as much money as possible and just kind of go crazy with that. That's the idea at least. Will it work? We'll see. I mean, the last shark is already being annoying, uh, which is not a big surprise, but you know, that's okay. All right, we'll get a point into unstable concoction. And now each kill of a neutral creep brings two additional points of the Rhea upgrade orbs. That's very good. Um, but as I said, I want to go for all of the farming oriented stuff. So we're going to get a Battle Fury. That way we can farm up much quicker. And then after the Battle Fury, uh, we're going to get Blink Tag and BKB. That's just so we don't die. <laughs> That may not sound farming orientated, but trust me, it is. Um, because without those items, we cannot farm. All right, this is just gonna be necessary, so uh, that is part of it. But then I want to get that Aghanim Scepter and maybe even just get Radiance. Like honestly, just double down on it. Get both the big farming items. But as I already said, unfortunately BKB is a core component here. We don't really have a way around BKB. Um, it's just too good. We can't really skip out on it. Nah, that's okay. Uh, otherwise, the Lashrak. 
you know, the hoodwink, the link, everybody. Everybody is just gonna collapse on me and take me down and it's not a good idea. Don't mind me. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for you to like the video. You're done? Good. Thank you. All right, take down, take this. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm glad that we're immediately getting the rear upgrade orb options. Uh, those are exactly what we want. All right, have a quick little look. This is a Q build. This is an ultimate build, ultimate build, W build, ultimate build. Oh no, never mind. we're good. Uh, so I'm a bit worried about some of these. Most notably, I'm worried about the Lena. I think the Lena is going to be an issue. If she wants to be aggressive, we'll have we'll have uh, some problems. But all of the rest, manageable. They're fine. I'm actually not that worried about them. Uh, TA, maybe. But she's mostly annoying, not so much scary. And Hoodwink and Queen of Pain need to build up damage anyway. And sure, Leshrock is Leshrock, so by default, he's going to be a little intimidating. But in practice, I think that Q build is Leshrock's weakest build. <laughs> so, even though, yes, Leshrock is scary, and Leshrock is just going to be scary, there's not really a way around that. Um, I do think if we're going to go up against the Leshrock build, that is the build that we want to be going up against. So, I don't mind that too much. All right, we got to be quick about clearing this. Luckily, we do have a lot of cleave already. And we have the Battle Fury. Okay, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Oh! Oh my god! I lost vision for like two seconds there. Oh my god, I am so annoyed by this. I am probably fine. Not even two seconds, right? I lost... I lost vision... For the tiniest, briefest of moments. And now I couldn't stun him. <laughs> oh, that is so irritating. That's okay. We survived. Ultimately, that's what matters. Alright. <clears throat> Come in here. Get this. Thank you very much. Uh, let me check for a bounty rune. Nothing here. That's fine. Here's our blink dagger. So Blink Dagger is uh, actually a really important farming item because it just lets us move and otherwise uh, that's something we struggle with. We will die here. So honestly, the best course of action might just be to find a hero that we're not so worried about and dying to them. Like just literally finding a hero that we can feed ourselves to. This may seem bad, but we're gonna die. They're gonna get us. There's not really a way around that. So since it's gonna happen anyway, I might as well make sure that it's not to a hero that would be a problem. I'm thinking the Queen of Pain. I think the Queen of Pain is the least likely to be an issue and the least likely... Oh, really? You figured out my small... Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> wow. Everybody is here. Sure. Luckily though... In one way, actually not that bad, because all three of the heroes that just benefited from that kill are not the two that are next to us. Alright? And I was hoping I could feed myself to Queen of Pain in isolation, not have a whole bunch of other heroes there that also benefit from it. But, alright. I guess that's just how it's gonna be. That's just how it's gonna be. There's a bounty. Thank you very much. I'll pick this up. And then there is a TA over here. Who's honestly not that scary. I mean, what's she gonna do to me? What does she even have? So, that's totally fine. And then we'll finish up the BKB. As I already said, BKB is very much a farming item because it just will make it so we don't get killed every time somebody shows up. 
Um, honestly, our main plan, our main strategy with the BKB is going to be to BKB and then run away. That's it. We're just going to BKB run. <laughs> that is the brilliant strategy that I have uh, come up with for today. So I hope everybody appreciates it. Oh, bad news. Oh, man. I just got it. Yeah, that's frustrating. I literally just got it. Well, let's shrug. Sure. This is what this build is like, honestly. This is just kind of the experience of it all. But we need to make it past this stage a little bit, right? We just need to work our way through it. We have to be KB now. Um, so at this stage, hmm, we might actually want to save up the 5,000 gold now. Or 4,500. Because we need to uh, figure out what our item is, right? Like what our next item options are. And um, we... Oh, I want to get Aghanims. Never mind. I take it back. I wanted to build Aghanims. That was like a big goal today. I wanted to get this because with this I can farm upgrade orbs from creeps. Like the, the white orbs from creeps, which sounds really fun. Oh, wow. Okay, these creeps are just destroying me. What? <laughs> Excuse you? <laughs> Why am I that weak? <laughs> okay, that, that actually blew me away. I gotta be honest. I thought for sure we would be fine against those. It's okay. It's okay. This is just normal alchemist experience. I promise. I promise. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, okay, that last thing, that was just silly, but I'm very surprised that we died there. I guess we are quite weak. Here's our epic. Oh, man, these are so bad. I'm going to re-roll this one. Here we go. Picking up a bounty room grants us bonuses. Because the other one, that just gives us stats if we have unspent money. And we don't have unspent money. Oh, my God. Hello. Yes. Goodbye. Cool. Again, this is this is the brilliant strategy. I hope you're ready for that. <laughs> We're gonna be doing this. <laughs> this is gonna happen a few times. <laughs> All right, take you guys. Make sure we have vision here. Oh my. Okay, dude, this guy is just like hunting me somehow. Well, no BKB ready, so I just gotta use this, throw in a stun. Yeah, I think we're dead. Well, the Shrug knew exactly where I was. There's not much I can do about that. <clears throat> Alright, grab ourselves the Ogre Axe. Thank you very much. I thought I was being sneaky too. Because like this corner, I'm not sure why the Shrug would have a ward here. Maybe this? It could be up here as well. The patrol showed me? Hmm, maybe. Oh no, hello Noah. What are you doing here? Alright, nothing here. I need to just find some space to farm. Yeah, did I touch the patrol? Okay. Well, that's fine. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll catch up. This is what this is the mini game of Alchemist, right? This is just what you do with this hero. You need to figure out a way to make it past this stage without falling completely apart. And if you can do that, you'll be fine. And if you can't, then you won't. <laughs> but that's okay too. <laughs> That's part of the experience, right? That's where the fun starts. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see whether or not it's fun. <laughs> I think that's still up, up for debate at this stage. No, I think it's fun for sure. I mean, who doesn't like playing Alchemist, right? Alright, take you guys. Thank you very much. No. Alright. Oh, crap. Alright, TA. Dig this up. 
Alright, here is over there, that's fine. Yeah, she's not coming. Okay, good, good, good. There is a lot shock here. Okay. I guess I'm leaving. <laughs> I guess I'm going away. Let's save up four and a half thousand now. I'm just smoking to find creeps. Smoking for farming. Oh, that's some... That's some intense defensive play. Oh my god, there's a Lena up there. No, nobody here. I gotta go back. Alright. Coming in this. Is there blue in the mid, you say? Could be, I'm not entirely sure. I know the uh, shark showed up and, and killed me a bit. So that that's definitely a possibility. Ooh. Dropping a little low. That's fine, don't worry about it. There you go. I think I'll just have to look for this myself. I'll just have to search for it. Okay. I mean, so far we're still top network. Which is not a big surprise. I mean, we are alchemists. Alright, take down you. There's a blue. Bounty rune, please. And, ooh, I like these creeps. Alright. I'm just gonna leave. Is that okay? Like, you can take the creeps, sure. I don't really want to fight you. You're scary. I don't really want that item either. I know that may seem like a bit of a loss. Losing the uh, paladin sword. Is it called paladin sword? I'm not sure. I think it's called paladin sword. But honestly, I like my armor a lot more. I think it's more important that I like keep up my survivability. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, we're leaving. We are leaving. Somebody was warping into the mid, so there's definitely a ward there. There is definitely a ward. Blue orb. I'll get the shield now. This is where I'm just going to be going for a lot of these uh, neutral path options. Because they make you really tanky. <laughs> And ultimately, that's the goal, right? We want to be able to take these hits. So, it's very important that we tank up a little bit. Take these guys, thank you very much. Uh, we'll get some extra attack speed. Because, you know, we're alchemists. We benefit a lot from attack speed. Low base attack time and all of that. And then we come in here. Grab myself the Mindbreaker. You know, this is such a bad cat here. Noah is, like, hanging around. And he stole one of my tea bags yesterday. Because, like, something that I like. I like tea. Let me start with that. I, I enjoy tea. I'm, I drink tea all the time. It's just something I like. Right? And, um... But something that kind of, like, bothers me about it is that it's a bit difficult to find... Just, like... Or, like, to try tea, I guess. That's the problem that I have. Because when I go into a grocery store and I want to buy some tea, they only sell it in these massive boxes of like 100 tea bags. And let me just be honest here. I know, I know, the real tea aficionados, they will now be very upset with me because I said tea bags. And it's just like, it's just, you got to prepare it yourself. It'll be way better that way. And I was like, sure, I believe you. Uh, but also, I just don't have that kind of energy. I just want to drink it. <laughs> just let me drink it. So I like having tea bags specifically. It's just how I like it, right? And um oh, we'll take these guys down. Thank you very much. Ooh, let's rock. Hmm. We're running. Link BKB. Teleport out. Good, good, good. But they are usually only these giant packages. 
Alright, you just get like a hundred of them. And I don't want that many. Because I don't know if I'm gonna like it. So, something that I've been uh, loudly complaining about. <laughs> is that there aren't like packages of tea you can buy. That are just like smaller quantities. Oh my god. I lost my recipe. Where is it? I was just like, wait, I have 4,500 gold. I should have that recipe. Where is it? Where did it go? <laughs> In the camp above my base. Up here? Okay, all right. I got to pick this up. This is very important. <laughs> all right, all right. No, this is actually genuinely, crucially important. There it is, alchemist recipe. Um, sure, let's go ahead and get ourselves the uh, Battle Fury upgrade. So we get ourselves some Mjolnir. Now we at least do damage. And it helps with our farming even more. Yes, look at that. So we save up 6,000 gold now. But yes, yeah, something that I've wanted to have for was basically like, I would love it if you could buy like a box of 100 tea bags, but instead of being the same tea 100 times, it was just 100 different teas. That would be great. I would really enjoy that. So, um, Mickey went looking and she found me this little trial box of stuff. It's not a hundred, it's just nine different ones. But I've enjoyed it anyway. And I've just been having a lot of different kinds of tea. Just kind of trying them. Until last night. When Noah, the bad boy, I saw him in here playing with something. And I just wasn't really able to say, okay, sure, I'm glad that he found something to play with. But then after a while, I'm just like, wait, what is that? So I go and check, and he stole himself one of our, one of my tea bags, <laughs> ripped it right out of the box, and was just tearing it apart on the carpet over there. And now my entire room <laughs> smells like tea. <laughs> it's just, it's just tea all over the place. <laughs> Uh, this morning he, uh, because our new kitchen is coming in uh, tomorrow, right? Because our new kitchen is coming in tomorrow, we have to empty out our current kitchen space and make sure that there is plenty of space for the installation. Oh, you have a Lincolns, what? You have, you just have this random upgrade, <laughs> what? Oh, I wasn't ready for that. I did not expect that. I need to let him out, one second. What a bad cat. So, we had to relocate all of the stuff that's inside of our kitchen upstairs. So that, uh, you know, they can go and actually install the kitchen properly because it, the, the room needs to be empty for that. And I'm very excited for that, by the way. Uh, but, of course, we wake up this morning and Noah just had a go at it. He just had a go at it. <laughs> he just... He took a bag of seaweed that Mickey bought and has just, like, completely torn it to shreds. Seaweed all over the floor. And we should be okay. As long as I get to use BKB, we're fine. But yeah, it's just torn to shreds, seaweed all over the floor. I don't even want to know what else he's done. Oh my god, everywhere I go. Just give me a goddamn break. <laughs> what do we want? The oh my god! Hello! What are you doing here? Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, they got me. The Le Shark, I don't know. The Le Shark has just got nothing better to do. What do we want? Do we want the Heart of Tarask upgrade or the Assault Cross upgrade? 
I mean, honestly, looking at this lobby, I think a lot of it is just gonna be about survival. But the Soul Cross and Solar Crest Blitz Knuckles, I think the hard, right? Because that way I can just slap this in here. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, that was I was a little spooked for a moment. All right. But now I've got a heart combined with a BKB. Which is gonna be good because that way we can have a BKB without actually needing to have a BKB, if that makes sense. Right, we don't need to have BKB. We don't need to waste an inventory slot on BKB to be able to use a BKB. But I honestly think we probably want the Heart of Tarask anyway. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't really want to fight you. And honestly, I'm getting there. Like, I'm, I'm starting to be somewhat powerful. I mean, not crazy powerful, but our struggle uh, is less. Let's just put it that way. Can you destroy your recipes if they're on the ground? I doubt it. In 1x6, you generally can't touch things that somebody else, that belongs to somebody else, with the exception of neutral items. But other than that, anything that belongs to somebody else is sacred and may not be may not be trifled with. Okay, we'll grab this. Thank you very much. That's good. And then we'll. Hey, I mean, honestly, like right now. Our game plan is just to continue farming. And we are building up money very quickly at the moment. And this is really, this is the point that we needed to get at. Right? Like, we have made it past that early annoying stage of losing two people that, you know, like, gank us immediately. Because at this stage, we can just BKB teleport out. And no, Lashrak is still hanging around here. Okay, sure, whatever. I'll just go up here. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. There's no creeps anywhere. Oh, Lena is dead. That's interesting. I wasn't even aware that Lena was in trouble. Good. Oh my god. Do you have nothing better to do? Yeah, I'm probably dead. I don't know. I'm really tanky now. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, but my base. That's not good. This last shock, dude. Every time. No matter where I go. Nobody else can find me like the last shock can. Nobody else can do it. So, if I want to fight the Lashrak, I mean, I think in general here, we're going to want the Mage Slayer, right? Like, that's pretty much always one of our items. But against the Lashrak specifically, I likely need a Nullifier. Does Nullifier even help? I mean, it helps a little bit, not that much. Ah. For the time being, I think it's fine if we just continue focusing on farming. It is important, though, that we don't expose our base too much. Because we are in a spot where if the Lashak or somebody else gets in there, we might be in trouble. Okay, I need to buy something. Like, this just needs to happen. I'm definitely buying a Spellbreaker. That always happens, right? This is always an item we get. And um, then... Well, that's the question now, isn't it? Like, I would like an Assault Cross. I would like so many things. There's so many things that I think would be good for us. But only so, f so few that I can actually fit. I think to deal with the Lashrak... We need a nullifier. They don't need nullifier for anybody else. 
Hello. No, for you I need armor. Ooh, that's dead. Yeah. God! For her, I need a soul cross. I'm not that far away from it. I think... I don't think I need Nullifier. I think that's where I'm drawing the line. I don't think I'm getting Nullifier. I feel like Nullifier is just very mediocre here. Oh my god, what are you doing here now? Who invited you in? I gotta kill the Slash Rock. Because this Slash Rock is just absolutely obsessed with me. <laughs> We're knocking that guy out. I think that's what I've decided. That guy gotta go. This just, this can't continue like this. This cannot continue like this. We will... Let's just take care of the Lashrak. Let's just get rid of him. Because ultimately, that's the only option he really has left me with. Alright, pop this here. Here are some uh, creeps, no big deal. Um... I feel like I actually want damage now. Yeah, but that doesn't do damage. If you want me to die to that, or if you want to catch me with that, you need to charge it up a bit. The immediate cast doesn't actually do anything. So, uh, cool, 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 cool. I have the assault cross. This is absolutely winnable. Like, quite winnable. Why? What? Wait, what just happened? It threw the unstable concoction, but it didn't do anything? What? <laughs> I am very confused by that. Like, she had BKB. Hmm. Well, we're getting pretty close, but we're not quite there yet. Like, it, it wasn't that bad, honestly. Like, we almost had her. We almost did it. Ooh, the shark is under attack. Should I help out? Should I just like throw in my base disable? Nah, I need to save it. I gotta save that bad boy. Alright, another bounty rune. Another bounty rune. More and more and more of these. Take you, take you. I'm not ready. And then we go back. Oh, TA might be in a bit of trouble here. Okay. I shall get extra primary attribute. Pick up this. TA has probably... Oh. TA probably is taking a little... No, no, she's fine. You here. We're still fairly low on level. We're only level 25. It's because we haven't really gotten any hero kills. Like, you really gotta be getting some hero kills in this mode. Alright, bounty rune. Bounty rune. So we have haste and double damage. And... Oh, haste again. Oh, you can get the same thing twice. 
Well, I didn't even know that. Okay, cool. So we beat her. That's very good. Chemical Rage cooldown is reduced. The Shrug is dead. I mean, I could try to like do some base damage right now, but honestly, this seems like a good moment to just chill and finally feel like I can farm up the way I want to, you know? Finally get everything that we've wanted all along. So, what do we buy next? We have... We have an inventory spot because of boots. So, against the TA, I need MKB, I'm guessing. I don't know about anybody else. To be honest, we probably want to get rid of the um, blink dagger as well. Like it's a good, it was a good item, I think. But at this stage, it doesn't really help us that much. So I'm thinking like MKB and Basha is probably the way to go. We also need more attack speed. Hmm. Also, yes, my dreams—they have all come true. Big, big part here. Big, interesting element here is gonna be what will be our um, tier 5. And maybe it's best to wait for that before we buy anything. Because the tier 5 will have a really big impact on what item we buy. Like if we get a pirate hat, we don't really need more attack speed. Then we don't actually need an MKB. But I feel like we get a Basha no matter what, right? Like Basha is just an... Is Basha an always item? Hmm, I'm not actually... Super convinced by that. All right, let's just see. Let's just see what we get. Pirate hat would obviously be ideal. Foreign sky is not ideal, but it is something. I mean, it can kind of replace the blink dagger, I guess. So it's not too bad. Wait, no, don't teleport back. <laughs> Um, we can get healing reduction there. We can get another bounty rune here. White orb. I'll get some life steal. I actually don't really have any life steal yet, do I? All right, take you. Good. Let's get some more life steal. Hmm. Mirror shield. I don't think that's helpful, really. I'm not sure what I do with a mirror shield. Oh, seer stone. Okay, like, I, I, we have one more drop. Four spoots. Oh, God. These were awful. <laughs> oh, these were so bad. Hmm, I'm guessing Force Boots? Or Mirror Shield? I guess Mirror Shield? Oh, yeah, I gotta be Mirror Shield, right? Yeah. Because, like, Mirror Shield is not a bad item, it's just kind of expensive, but I guess it being expensive isn't that big a deal for us. God, that was just terrible. Absolutely, absolutely awful. Okay. So, we'll get this and we'll get ourselves the Lincoln Sphere. Equip you here. Uh, I think we don't need this anymore. And then I get this and I get MKB. That's rude. And with that, we have spent a good amount of money. And we'll get plus 8% primary attribute. Honestly, I feel like we can just kill TA. Yeah. Yeah, let's just kill TA. I, I don't know 
how she can fight into me. Oh, weird. Hmm. Okay, we gotta go. We forced the buyback. That's fine. It was kind of close, but also it was fine. <laughs> Why mirror shield? I don't have anything else. I don't like the mirror shield. I don't think mirror shield is a good item for us. I honestly think it's a pretty bad item. But our neutral item drops were god awful. Like just horrible. And what do you do then? There's not much I can do, I just have to accept that my neutral items are terrible. Alright, so we're still missing the last epic here, right? Uh, we'll come in here. Good, good, good. We can easily control this space now. Because honestly, we're just incredibly strong at this stage. Get ourselves the bounty rune. And, uh, yeah, I'm guessing TA will just avoid confrontation from now on. Which is fine, because that gives us opportunity to find what we can. Why not fall in sky? It, it just doesn't really help that much in fights. At this stage, people are looking to fight and they will try to engage with me. And I just don't see how fall in sky is really all that beneficial. It's like really my main problem with it. And uh, on the other hand, I do think that having uh There we go. I do think that having the uh, mirror shield, it just prevents stuff. Like, it it's always one of those things, right? You have a mirror shield, and then your opponents don't buy hex, and then you don't get hexed, so you don't reflect the hex back. So you then think to yourself, ah, mirror shield doesn't do anything. They don't even have hex in the first place. But of course, that's the wrong way to think about it. Because mirror shield prevented them from buying hex. They would have had it. They would have had it. But now they don't. Precisely. Because you have the mirror shield. Right? And that's just kind of like, I think, really important to remember there. Okay, cool. We have our epic... We took down the TA. I think probably Le Shrock next, just because I'm a little petty. <laughs> Pick up you. Oh yeah, I mean the money is now just through the roof. Just absolutely through the roof. And that's kind of like where maybe we should have the... Um, like, what's it called? The... The blink in the backpack. And that I can see that argument. I think that makes sense. But yeah. I don't know. Good, good, good. So uh, we have a bunch of money. Let's just spend it. Let's get this. Uh yes, I think we do want this. Up common upgrade orbs are worth 30% more. I mean, we have a lot of common upgrade orbs, right? <laughs> Because we've been farming them all game long. So it makes sense to me to just lean into that a little bit. Pick up a bounty here. And we're doing Lich now. Good, good, good. 
And our... I think what we're getting is the ultimate, right? Because with that, Camel Courage has a lower base attack time and we can attack while moving. The unstable concoction thing is also very good. Because we just like... 20% damage reduction is nice. But I think... Reducing the base attack time of it and attacking while moving. I mean, attacking while moving by itself is amazing. Grab this. Thank you very much. We have 10,000 gold and nothing to spend it on, right? Am I missing out on anything? Is there anything else we can buy? Good. Strength. Hello. More white orbs. Uh, I guess I'll get some nice deal. Yeah, now we just kind of like walk past things and they die. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Rooted. I'll show you rooting. She's got Lincolns. Mm hmm. Is this mine? This is mine. Okay, we're chilling. Nah, I mean, we're fine. It's a little annoying, but ultimately, it's not a big problem. I would have liked to actually get something there, like actually get a kill. But those heroes are just so fast. It's really difficult to catch up to them. And I think the natural argument to make this, well, if only somebody had a blink target. And yeah, if only somebody did. Hello there, buddy. How does it feel? Ooh, a book. Yeah, it's unfortunate, isn't it, when that happens? Doesn't 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 feel great. Hmm. <laughs> Do I want in combat my damage dealt increases? I don't really need this enrage potion. It doesn't really do anything. I don't care about spell. I guess I get this by default. Because, like, I think the other one doesn't really help us. It's a little pointless, to be honest. Hello. Oh, I do like this. Both of them. God, I wish I had gotten one of these last time. Chemical Rage increases your attack range by 80, and Chemical Rage attacks also do 40% cleave. The attack range would be great. After 3 seconds, we apply... A strong dispel, and it applies a dispel on our target. That's not too bad either. Hmm. But I think the extra attack range will make it so much easier to actually catch up to them. That it's just better. How much status resistance do we have? Got plus 20%. <clears throat> I don't think I like the Spellbreaker that much. I know that seems a little weird. But our opponent's Spellbreaker is going to be very difficult to actually get use out of. And I think instead we are having, we'll have an easier time with... Um, what's it called? Oh shit, I forgot the name of it. I forgot what I was gonna do. Nullifier. There we go. No, no, no. We, we, I think we'll have an easier time with Nullifier because I need to actually catch up to them. Alright, slam this in here for a bonus. Oh, I have way too much stuff. Oh no, I've got too many things. Ah, this is annoying. Ah, God. <laughs> I have too many items. It's just, oh my God, my inventory is so full. Um, I will get a respawner. 
And I will get a vision thing. I don't know where the respawner went. It's disappeared. Anybody, anybody have an idea where it went? <laughs> I'm missing an item. <laughs> oh, it's in my stash. It's in my stash. I found it. <laughs> oh, God. Mm-hmm. Just an illusion. Why can I not? Oh, ah! Ah! Fuck. God damn it. Freaking impossible. Freaking impossible, I tell ya. Uh, we don't have ultimate right now. Hey, that's my kill. <laughs> that's my kill. I'll take it. Yeah, that's fine. All right, down you go. She's trying to save her buyback. Which is probably fine at this stage. What are you doing? Attack the building, please. Ugh. Is that? That's gonna be a buyback. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just hoping the Queen of Pain can finish this. Like, that's okay. But now I need to get back in there. Because I do have I do have a base to save, but I didn't need it right there, so I didn't use it. But I want to get in there now to kind of prevent the Queen of Pain from getting anything. Oh shit. Hurry. Okay, cool. Nice. Very good. Does Nullify even help against Queen, though? Um. Oh, cool, I get the strong dispel anyway. So against Queen of Pain, I want to have the uh, Spellbreaker. Right, right? Because with the Spellbreaker, I have a chance of just surviving. I don't think Fallen Sky is needed here. I'm better off with the Lincolns. Yeah. I wonder what my last item should be. I'm really unsure there. There's a lot of options and a lot of them make sense. Scotty makes sense. We can get uh we can get ourselves the the the, the spellbreaker nullify. Is nullify even good? Nullifier felt kind of shit. Because I does nullifier I don't think nullifier actually dispels, yeah. That doesn't doesn't dispel Aeon Disc. Hmm. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> I guess it'll be fine. Yeah, 
She's just got a spell casting defensive item set. So we just need to get there. Cool. And we just need to chase her down. Yeah, this is honestly really simple. We just have to kind of like run up to her. And just 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 slap her. Like it's fine. No, none of this is scary. I'm, I'm not using the Spellbreaker yet very intentionally because I'm saving it for when things might get dangerous. And so far nothing's gotten dangerous. It will get dangerous if the Queen of Pain gets to cast a second ultimate, but she just doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> it's not even close. <laughs> yeah, this is a stupid hero with a stupid build. I don't know. Turns out... Making infinite money, that's how you want that's how you win. Uh yeah, definitely not necessarily the best way of playing this hero, but it is kind of fun. I don't know. It's one of those things, right? Where it's like not necessarily fun like during the early game, because you just keep getting fucked with. But then once you make it past that stage, you get to the late game, then can be very satisfying. <laughs> So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.